this is for Emma Tynan. Okay, so let's have a look. Emma, just be yourself. You're a great person. Enjoy being yourself. And I feel that this refers to a work situation. So some situation where there's a group of people who are, um, you know, I feel as if you're having a little bit of anxiety in a particular group and I'm actually seeing that you're having a little bit of, uh, I'm not going to go into too many details um, here, but I am just feeling that the guidance that's, that's telling you to just be yourself is also reminding you that, um, you know, life is quite a twisting path because I'm looking at this and my eyes are really being drawn to this, this path that's behind you. Notice how far you've come. Realise that you got yourself there, that you have come all this way alone. You did that on the strength of your own efforts and you will continue to create success and to create um, life on your terms, on the basis of the strength of your efforts. So be yourself, be innovative, be unique, even be unusual and don't apologise for it. Just keep searching yourself and checking and making sure that you're in the right place, in the right environment. And if you don't feel that that's the case, find a way to do something else that really does allow you to express the fullness of your character. Okay, I hope that helps you. And I'm going to do someone to someone else now. So, Deborah, Deborah Boucher. I hope I've said that properly. Yeah. Um, let's just have a quick look. I feel as if I'm being drawn towards the saints and angels set. So let's have a look there for Deborah Boucher. What does Deborah most need to know now? Things are working out for you, Deborah, so please stop worrying. I feel as if you're a little bit anxious about two particular areas in your life and um, you need to take a few deep breaths and calm yourself down and trust. Trust that you are being helped with these things, okay? Um, now, let's see. Learning experience. So, remember that in life, <laughs> things are not always as clear-cut as we would like them to be. Sometimes they take a little bit of a winding path, as we've just seen. Um, however, remember that everything that happens to you can either be a complete disaster or a learning experience. So ask yourself, what is this situation, or what are these situations rather teaching me right now about who I am waiting to become? How can I use these experiences to become stronger? And where can I envision or imagine my life moving to if I take that perspective and see the, see the higher learning involved here? Okay? There's your card. And that's it. Talk to your guardian angel as well, actually, because for some reason I was asked to look at the card again. And, um, and I'm just seeing that it says at the bottom, guardian angel. Talk to your guardian angel and just ask, what is the highest learning? Please help me to elevate my consciousness so that I can see the higher learning in these situations. Okay? And move away from fear and worry. Okay? Right. And the next one is for Ember1128. One one, so eleven twenty eight eleven. <laughs> okay, and I feel like I want to pick a secret language of colour card for you, Ember eleven twenty eight eleven. <laughs> right, so let's just couple. Okay, so you need to ground yourself. You need to establish boundaries. You need to put your roots down into the earth and you need to be really, really clear with yourself about what works for you, what doesn't work for you. There are situations that are just about to change in your life, I feel, and as you step into these new situations, you will need to go with a new consciousness of boundaries, is what my guide is saying. Collect all your energy together, be very clear, be very focused, you are on the right path, trust yourself, trust it but also know that you are going to go in with a different approach this time, okay? And establish boundaries early, nice and early, rather than later, is what I'm being told. There you go. And, uh, and enjoy. Huh. Yeah. Um, I, I just felt like this second card was for you as well. And it says develop mental clarity. So if you are about to make a big change and step into something new, which feels like, you know, there's a new career path for you or something like that, some new adventure in a sense. 
so it's a little bit scary. Um, just get very, very clear about how you're going to be in that situation and what your objectives are in being there and about what, your, what you deserve in terms of how you treat yourself and how you allow yourself to be treated. So just going slowly and um, with awareness, okay? Right. So let's do another one. Let's go to the unicorn card. Drawing Virtues Unicorn deck is the one that I feel drawn to. For Patricia Chenovsky. Patricia Chenovsky. The universe. What does Patricia need to know? Somebody said, um, can you ask her please to relax a little bit, to just be a little bit more flexible? So there's a situation in your life where you are um, adopting a little bit of a rigid attitude, is what it feels like, thinking that this will give you the strength to get through the situation. But what they're saying is she needs to bend a little bit, bend a little bit in terms of how she views uh, the, the potential solution. Okay? Be creative, be flexible. Um, right. <laughs> Ta-da! Creative. So be creative in terms of all of your dilemmas at the moment, but also be creative in order to lift yourself above any conflicts that you're experiencing right now. Something is missing in your life, that's what I'm feeling, something that you love to do. And, um, and it says here, draw, paint, think and act in creative ways. And I actually see these horses that are charging along here, just have a look at the cards, are really jumping out at me in the cards. And I feel that that's saying, you know, a lot of your passion, a lot of your creative energy needs to be released now so that you can really start to enjoy life again and put your focus in more positive directions rather than uh, looking too much at some of the details that are a little bit uncomfortable around you at the moment. So get back into your creativity, okay? And they've shown me a square, so it could be a frame. So you might be a painter or someone who does some sketching or something. Um, anyway, that's that. And uh, I'm going to do one more, actually. And this is for Practice Meta. <laughs> like that. Practice Meta. Okay. So, where are we going here? For Practice Meta. And uh, you said Katie. Hi, Katie. So, let's just have a quick look at the Saints and Angels um, deck for you. I actually feel like I want to do Dolphins and Mermaids, but... Okay, activist, Mother Teresa. Right, I feel like with you, you need to be turning a corner now in your life and you need to be getting very clear about the way that you approach the work that you feel you came here to do. There is another element to it that you need to begin to install now. You need to begin to see yourself much more in a leadership role, not only in terms of leadership, but also in terms of taking small actions as well as big actions, taking small actions that create change. So drawing the line in the sand and saying, I am not going to sit here worrying about things. I'm not going to sit here uh, wondering about whether my meditations or my being or any of these things are actually having effect or affecting change in any way. I'm actually going to do something constructive. I feel like that's on your mind actually at the moment. And um, I don't know whether you've thought about working for an NGO or, or something like that, but I, I've just got a feeling that you want to do something more practical, more constructively activation or activist rather. So that one I'm going to give you, and I'm going to give you this one as well, which is belief. So I do want you to become stronger again in terms of your belief in your ability to affect change by being who you are, and also to do that active thing that will give you more of a sense of motivation and something to get up for and something to put some of that energy behind because I feel that there's something there in terms of, uh, not creativity so much, but in terms of I need to make a difference now, I need to see and feel that I'm making a difference. So go ahead and do it, make that small change, become a member of something or you know, do an activity once a week that you feel will make a difference, that will bring change on a practical, tangible, material level. And continue with your meditations, continue with your inspirations, with all of the uh, creative inspiration that you receive, continue to make something beautiful with all of that as well. Right, that's it. So, thanks for listening, everyone. That's Lucky Dips for this week, and I'll be back with more next week. Okay, bye.